My name is Chris Hilgeman. I'm director for facilities project development and the project director for the facilities team here at Arizona uh, for the proton therapy facility. We're excited to uh, put the uh, new proton therapy facilities in place, both in Rochester, Minnesota, as well as in Arizona. We're basically building uh, identical facilities, albeit a uh, different uh, size of a building footprint. Uh, in Rochester, for instance, there's a footprint of about uh, uh, 80,000 square feet, and uh, it's a multi-story building, uh, whereas we are able to, to use uh, our future site for clinical building and have the main clinical uh, treatment area on one floor. This building will basically just be the basement, or what we'll call the concourse, of a future 60,000 square foot building footprint that will extend another 14 floors, or about 250 feet high. So it's a very good base for our Phoenix campus, for our clinical facilities. It's one of uh, four future structures that we'll have for these clinical elements. Now back to proton therapy. The design and construction of this building is substantial. It's expected to begin uh, at th the same time as we're beginning in Rochester. Finalizing the proton beam e equipment, uh, purchasing and completion of the building interface documents have taken between five to 12 months and, and, and is typical for a proton therapy type of project. Building design will, uh, will take about 14 months. It overlaps with that equipment purchase. In addition, about 24 to 27 months will uh, be the building construction time period. Uh, installation will take about 18 months, at which time Hitachi will, will come on our site, bring all the equipment, and load it into the building, as well as assemble it, install it, get all their electronics up, up and operating. There will be a six-month then uh, testing period where a system is tested, commissioned, and then brought into an acceptance form where we then can treat patients. We'll be opening the first facility in Minnesota in about mid-2015. And then roughly nine months later, the time that it really takes Hitachi to uh, bring, finish the equipment installation in Rochester and then move over to Arizona to install, we'll be able to start uh, operating of the facility in Arizona. So about early 2016. And then that will, that will put basically the first four gantries in place, two in Rochester and two in Arizona. And then the third and fourth gantries in both locations will be brought up and running about a year later. Uh, so uh, we expect to have four gantries in Rochester and four in Arizona, fully operational by roughly uh, 2017. I liken the, the proton therapy equipment as that of more of an industrial type of facility. Think of it as uh, very large equipment that has to be installed in very large vaults. These vaults are made of concrete, and uh, there are some walls, for instance, that are as much as 12 feet thick in order to provide the right protection for the environment and for the patient as well as the staff. The um, equipment is, uh, as I mentioned, is very large. It's large enough, in fact, that uh, it requires a three and a half story vault, roughly a 45 foot high uh, room that we're building for each of the four treatment rooms themselves. The fixed beam room, on the other hand, is simply a one story element. The uh, equipment that really powers this is, is called a synchrotron, at which uh, basically the, the atom is, uh, the, the proton is separated from the atom, uh, synchronized at a certain energy, and then sent down a piping system called the beam path. This piping system has magnets periodically that then can turn the, the proton and send it into each of the treatment areas for treatment on the patient. As they go into this equipment, uh, though, they're along what I might call a very large umbilical. So there are many, many magnets that continue to turn that as that, that cable, if you will, brings the proton beam to the patient. The total capital expenditure for this project here in Arizona is about $182 million. And we have a similar four treatment facility that we're building in Rochester. Uh, funding for the project is through Mayo's Capital as well as uh, through Benefactor funding. Both of the Mayo Clinic Proton Beam Facility projects will be housed within new buildings in Rochester and in Arizona on our campuses. 
and uh, our facility in Arizona will be built east of our existing Mayo Clinic specialty building. We also see this as a benefit to the economy in that over 500 additional construction jobs will be created during the two-year construction phase of this project. In addition, Mayo Clinic will be hiring over 130 new employees when it's operational. Of those, 10 are physicians and 9 are physicists.